That is that's all he's got left in him. Poor little sausage. <laughs> you got quite into this. Hey folks, welcome back. We are on our second episode of our Speedy series. We're looking at a new tool today. It is a pressure washer that's super hot. We've got vehicles to clean, stables to clean, yards to clean. This hasn't walls. been a priority, has it really? But it's going to children, be, I feel like children. it's going to be really good. And it's been one that we can't do around the kids because it's so um, strong. Right, so we've got our power set up. It needs a transformer because it's, <laughs> it's a beast, isn't it? So if we start cleaning from this point on, yeah. because all this we're going to, relay and scrap so that's a clean line go that way so we've got the transform all set up in there we've got water which should just reach so i'm gonna guess this goes in here it's gonna be a, a bit of a different beast from our little car shouldn't we? <laughs> we haven't read up on this too much have we no we like to have a little play we're just gonna do this yard first on a cold pressure washer i assume it's gonna be more powerful than the normal one so oh it felt it did it <laughs> Well, it's certainly more powerful than the normal pressure washers we've got here. So far, so good. It's very satisfying. And the one good thing compared to the little one, obviously the power is the main thing, but the fact that my hands don't, I can only do it for about 15 minutes normally, because my hands yeah. vibrate so much with the force. Um, whereas I haven't had any of that. So we're going to try this one on? On a vehicle. So we're back on the pressure washing. Stupidly, Joe and I thought we'd work to a, a time limit on this one, so we only hired it for a couple of days. Therefore, it's being picked up in about two or three hours. We want to make the most of it. We've got a few tasks left for it. It's like everything, things take longer than you think. This yard especially, we've been working on it. Joe did all of that side, did a really good job of it. We decided what we'd do is blast out all the joins between the concrete, and then we would be able to fill those, get it neat. So that's where everything was kind of accumulating, all the rubbish and the weeds. Right, while Joe cracks on and gets the last bit of the yard done, I thought there's another thing that really would deserve a bit of a, a bit of an autumn clean. Only problem is it hasn't started in a little while. Chocks away. I'd be astonished as this starts. Come 
possible this thing. Right, Humpty Dumpty's round. He's ready for his bath. I'm not sure he's ever had one. I'm gonna go and do a little bit more in the yard, finish that off, and then Joe's gonna get ready on this, and hopefully he'll be sparkling. He'll still be rusty, but he'll be sparkling. Right, she returns and I don't think I'm going to get much of a look in with this one. Pretty standard interlude here. We've had a bit of a farm issue. I'll be back in just a moment. The pigs are back in. We're on it, finally. So we had one little attempt on hot earlier and it made a lot of difference on the ground, on the concrete. We seemed like a bit of a waste and uh, we only had five litres of diesel. So what we've done is saved it for this. So we've got hot and foamy and I think he's enjoying it. Tell you what, Humpty Dumpty hasn't looked this clean in a while. I mean, he's rusty and it probably shows that more, but look, he's actually yellow under here. We could keep going and keep going, but a lot of the grease and grime is gone. There's pressure washing and then there's pressure washing at 90 degrees and it makes one heck of a difference. It just cuts through it all. It's really steamy. You do have to be careful. That hose gets pretty hot, as you would imagine. But between the degreaser and the cleaner that's in there and it being toasty, toasty, it's just got through everything. There's really nothing to stop us giving it a lick of paint now if we really wanted. Obviously, it needs a little bit of work. Finished it off with just water and it's come up a treat. What we do want to do is make sure we do all the greasing after this, but for now, for now we're good. Right, the pigs are finally back kind of where they're meant to be. I need to go and sort them out later. There's another good reason why you might hire a tool out and that is hire before you buy. Before you shell out a load of your hard earned money on a tool, it's quite a good idea to see if you actually enjoy using the tool, see if it's up to the task. And hiring is a good way to do that. 
So in my years as a photographer, before buying a lens, quite often I would hire it from a, a camera hire company, use it at a wedding, use it over a couple of events and see if it was what I wanted before I went and spent, you know, a thousand, two thousand, three thousand pounds on that particular piece of glass. And the same goes for, for instance, the pressure washer today. Now, until we got this big one out on hire, I thought a petrol pressure washer was the only option if you wanted a decent, powerful pressure washer. And that's the only one I'd ever used of any power, and that was Dad's one. They're noisy, they're a little bit cumbersome, and it's another thing to service. It turns out that an electric pressure washer, certainly this one, uh, is superior or as good as some of those petrol ones. So for us, we are definitely going to have to buy a pressure washer at some point for the farm. There's just too much to be cleaning all the time with a little domestic one. But hiring out this bit of kit was a great way of proving to ourselves that an electric pressure washer will always be powerful enough for what we need. People have opinions, very strong opinions, on pressure washing technique, attachments, chemicals, and all that stuff. So this is just, we're just kind of playing around with this tool. Yes, you can probably get better heads for it. You can get attachments that you basically lawn mow your drive because it's just like a hover disc, and you know, and that's a great way to do flat surfaces. But we were just using that fan pattern one and it works really well. It also turns and you can change direction on it, which is quite handy. Also, if it was a really lots of moss and algae, there are certain chemicals you can use that will help that. And we've covered that in the past cleaning patios. And of course, there will be the argument for different brands and different models. But what we've hired here, I'm really impressed with. Okay, here's your interview session. See you what later, was my old friend. You got quite into this. What was your yeah. favourite thing to clean? What's the most satisfying thing to clean? Surprisingly, it was this. The dumper. Yeah, see, I told you yeah, he, he yeah. needed it. I, the thing is, I saw all the rest and think, but then like, look at that yellow patch there. Yeah. Nice. And the hot definitely makes a difference, doesn't it? Yes. But the fact that you can use it, this is the biggest thing for me, my hands don't feel numb after 10 minutes. Plus it's a way quieter machine than the petrol one. Yes, yeah, true. So I think if we ever buy one for the farm, electric, we've proved that electric can be just as powerful and quieter and having a long hose is way nicer than our one. Yeah. Well, just generally, <laughs> this is way nicer than our one. <laughs> and our one has been relegated to becoming a tripod for the time lapse. That is. That's all he's got left in him. <laughs> Poor little sausage. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. I know though, this is the annoying thing. I know as soon as this goes, we'll be like, oh, we should have that. Should oh yeah, I know. That. I think we need to so, get it out and yeah. hire it again. This button here flashes. It's a simple fix. It just means you need to... Ah, uh, yeah, good shout. The, yeah, the warning light came on. And we were stressing because it was only about 20 minutes to go before it had to leave, which is any time now. And that... The standard of all of our things. No, it's because we, we were using a transformer and we tried linking two or three extensions and yeah. it's not, not high enough voltage. Yeah. So... There you go, it's a little tip. Yeah, After don't stress. After 20 minutes to stress. No Let's time for reminiscing. The there are four pigs that need your attention. Uh, oh, what a surprise. I need to go pick our daughter up from nursery. Hang on, there's only two. How many got out? I'm gonna leave leave you with that. He wanted pigs. This is so not fun. Um, Why are you even there? Just had the text, your speedy collection is next en route, which means <laughs> I've only got a half a yard cleaned. Never mind. It's all right. I need to pack it up, get it by the gate, ready to it's go. It's not like we're not gonna get it out again, is it? It's no. been well worth it. We do need to know what you want to see next. We've got the next one sorted. We've got the next Speedy Series sorted, but after that, who knows? Lots of projects here. Winter projects, maybe indoor projects. We haven't got an indoors. If you want to find out more about this machine, hiring it out, we'll put the link down in the description. If you want to check out our last one, we hired out the Shredder. The shredder was another good tool. And I do want one of these on the Christmas list now, please. Thanks for watching, and remember, if you can, do it yourself. And we'll uh, see you next time. We'll see you next time, and <laughs> we'll go chase some pigs. <laughs>